Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong random math problem galing from pre-calculus. So this is how uh, a problem under ng solving ng non system of non-linear equations. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng non-linear equations? Obviously, from the word non-linear, that means na yung degree natin will be greater than 1. So hindi lang siya 1 kasi nga, di ba yung degree is considered as the highest exponent. So kapag non-linear, so most likely, that is square function, a cubic function, or minsan mas mataas pa. So, dito sa video na to, may sample problem tayo nito try natin isolve. Uh, isolve yung system na kung saan hanapin natin yung solutions x and y. Okay? Sige, try natin isolve mga dods. Solve the following system of equation. 9x squared minus 4y squared plus 54x plus 45 equal 0. And x plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 4y plus 4. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung second equation natin can still be simplified. So, i-expand natin. So, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 4y plus 4. Mga lodi, di ba? So, pwede natin gawin dito x squared plus 6x equals 4y. 4 minus 9, that is negative 5. Sir IJ, bakit yan po yung ginawa mo? Okay. Ito yung una kong ginawa. Alam nyo kung bakit, mga lodi. Kasi napansin ko dun sa first equation natin, 9 tsaka 54. Kapag yung 54 ba, mga lodi, dinivide natin sa 9. Ano magiging sagot? That is equal to 6, di ba, mga idol? So, ano nang gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin will be, imumultiply natin to sa 9, yung both sides. Kasi, magkakaroon tayo ng 9x squared plus 54x. So, we have multiplied both sides by 9. So, ito is times natin sa 9. Ito times din natin sa 9. So, we have 9x squared plus 54x equals 9 times 4y. That is 36y minus 45. Diba mga lodi? So, anong mangyayari dyan sir IJ? E eh, di itong x squared, 9x squared natin plus 54x will be replaced with this. So, ano na mangyayari sa first equation natin? So, diba the first equation can be written as 9x squared plus 54x minus 4y squared is equal to, sorry, plus 45 is equal to 0, mga lods, ba? So, ano na mangyari, sir, IJ? So, ang mangyari po dyan, itong 9x squared plus 54x will be replaced with this. So, that will be 36y minus 45 minus 4y squared plus 45 is equal to 0. So, ayan ang mga lodi. Cancel ng negative 45. So, magiging 36y. So, that is 36y minus 4y squared is equal to 0. I-factor out po natin yung 4y. So, if ever may hindi malino mga lodi, pwede nyo i-comment. 9 minus y is equal to 0. So, kapag sinold natin yung values ng y, applying the zero product property. So, we have 4y is equal to 0. So, for the first value of y, we have y is equal to 0. For the second value of y, 9 minus y is equal to 0. We have y is equal to 9. Okay? So, tandaan na natin yung mga nakuha natin mga lodi. y equals 0, y equals 9. Bakit po, sir IJ? Kasi gagamitin natin yan dun sa equation natin. So, mas madali siyang i-substitute sa second. So, we will solve for the value of x given yung value ng y na na-compute na natin. Okay? Ganun lang po yung flow ng solution natin. Hindi naman po siya ganun kahirap. So, talagang more on practice lang mga load. Lagi namang sinasabi ni Sir IJ yan. So, considering the second equation. So, we have x plus 3 quantity squared equals 4y plus 4. Unahin muna natin isolve kapag yung y is 0. So, if y is 0, we can replace this y with equal to 0. So, 4 times 0 plus 4. So, we have x plus 3 I, sorry, quantity squared is equal to 4. Right, mga lodi gates? Diba 4 times 0, 0 plus 4. That's 4. S extracting the root, so meron tayo x plus 3 is equal to, ang square root ng 4 is plus or minus 2, mga idol. Okay? Hindi po ito lang, ha? Kasi dalawa po yan, quadratic yan, therefore dalawa yung roots niyan. So, x is equal to 2 minus 3 or pwede ring x equals negative 2 minus 3. Kasi positive 2 muna yung kinonsider ko. 2 minus 3, nilipat ko sa kabila. Ganun din dito. So, this is x equals negative, ah, sorry, negative 1. And ito naman is x equals negative 5. So, therefore, yung una nating set of solutions will be negative 5, 0 
at saka negative 1 comma 0. So ito yung una nating set of solution mga lodi. Pero meron pa tayong isang case na kung saan y is equal to 9. So hatiin natin yan. So meron tayong x plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 4 times 9 plus 4 kasi po y equals 9. Tama mga lodi? So we have x plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 4 times 9, that is 36, plus 4, that is 40. Extracting the root, so x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus, ano square root ng 40? Di ba ang 40 can be written as 4 times 10? So 4 can be written as 2 squared. So ilabas natin yung 2, so we have 2 square root of 10. So we have x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2 square root of 10. Sir IJ, paano po natin isusulat yan? So, isusulat natin to as coordinate uh, na ganito. Negative 3 plus 2 square root of 10, kama 9. Kasi 9 yung value ng y natin. At the same time, yung sa minus naman, negative 3 minus 2 square root of 10, kama 9. Therefore, apat yung solution natin. Ito, negative 5, kama 0. Tapos, negative 1, kama 0. Negative 3 plus 2 square root of 10, kama 9. And negative 3 minus 2 square root of 10, kama 9. So, yun po yung magiging final answers natin. So, just in case meron kayong questions or concerns regarding dun sa problem natin or dun sa mga previous tutorials natin, don't hesitate to comment. Kasi naman, nag-reply naman as much as possible. Tsaka kung hindi naman tayo busy. And maraming salamat mga Lodi sa patuloy na sumusupport sa channel natin. And I hope you all the best. May God bless you mga Lodi. And keep safe na lang, especially pandemic ngayon. Subscribe din pala kayo sa mother ko, Mary Ann Malin, yung name niya sa YouTube. And kulay orange mo yung profile niya, more on cooking. And yun mga Lodi, see you na lang on my next tutorial video. And bye-bye!